Hello again, this is Robert V. Chair. This is my video view of the NOCO brand, their lithium NLP20 Group 20 600 amp lightweight lithium battery. This is the box that came in. This is a re replacement for a lot of lead acid batteries um, that you might have on your motorcycle, ATV, your lawnmower. This is 12 volts at 7 amp hours. You can see it's two times more power. 10 times more starts and 5x longer life and it's unbelievably lightweight. I was really impressed. So this is the cool package that comes in and we're going to open this up and show you what's inside. So here you have the battery packed safely. It has the spacers on the bottom. It has a real thick instruction booklet but uh, don't be concerned because it's all in different languages except for the few little bit in English it has a tool here to get to these terminals and it has a bunch of rubberized inserts that you're gonna allow you to put in the battery if you want to give it a little more volume to fit let's take this out so when you remove those spacers you can see the actual size of the battery so this is nice because you could be adding these and get all kinds of different heights because this physical size is smaller than what it's going to replace. And first thing I know is you look on the bottom and you see that ETL rating. And this is a really fancy looking battery, high tech looking. And that shows you that ETL looked at too, looked at all the materials in here, the plastic, the safety of the internal electronics because this is loaded with all kinds of safety features to prevent overcharging, undercharging, thermal. Uh, this will not charge once it gets below 10 degrees Fahrenheit or above 180 degrees Fahrenheit or so. So there's a lot of uh, safety features on here. <laughs> These come off right here. This you can unscrew and you can remove this little plate right here if it helps you fit it in your ATV or your lawnmower. You see that they were clever and there's different ways to mount it. You can mount it with a bolt that way or that way. And uh, that way you have a lot of flexibility. The positive is on the right, negative is on the left. So I'm buying this for my lawnmower. This will be more power than the lead acid battery that's in the lawnmower. Uh, the polarity is reversed, so I'm going to have to uh, just wire it differently, but I'm going to put it in my lawnmower. So here's what I'm going to be replacing. This is the lead acid battery, and that uh, is a replacement that should exceed the capacity of this battery. And of course, it's much lighter weight than the new battery, the lithium ion. The terminals are reversed, so I'm going to have to uh, swap those connections. But this is what I'm going to be doing. And unfortunately, it's the winter time, so it's freezing. I can't really. Uh, test the battery out in the lawnmower, but uh, this is why I purchased this battery to replace this outdated lead acid battery on this riding lawnmower. Now we're going to be testing this battery out because I want to show you the capacity and we're doing some load tests on it also. So here is my upstairs charging station. I'm charging the NLP20 and it came at about 13.5 volts and it's slowly rising and I'm using a lithium ion lithium polymer charger and it's slowly increasing the voltage and it it's going to stop pretty soon because it's going to reach that upper limit so the battery does come pre-charged which is nice let's first go over the uh, specs of this as I said it's 12 volts 7 amp hour and uh, what you want to do on Amazon is you want to add your power sports vehicle to your Amazon garage so you get an accurate fitment. There's a listing of all compatible vehicles on the listing itself. And this is lithium. And uh, what's really cool is that you could charge this a lot of different ways. We're gonna show a couple different ways I'm gonna charge this, but it comes pre-charged. It was already like 13.3 volts across the battery. So this is better than lead acid in almost every way. No sulfation, which kills those batteries. No activation, no acid, no maintenance, no water 
and like I said, it's fully charged. And same performance, delivers over 600 amps of starting power, 50,000 starts and over 2,000 charge cycles. You can charge and discharge this. And most lead acid, you might get 300 if you're lucky. So, you know, this may cost more up front, but it's gonna last a lot more. Now there's a whole dynamic battery management system inside here. So below this right here, there's all kinds of electronics, there's temperature sensors, hot and cold, and there's overcurrent, undercurrent, uh, over voltage, under voltage detection. And it will shut down if it detects something is wrong. It'll protect whatever vehicle, whatever you're putting this up against. Now this has super fast charging. You can unleash the power of lithium and quickly recharge it within minutes. And we're gonna show you how, how I'm gonna test charge this. There's a lot of different ways. It's universal, a multi-terminal configuration I already showed. So you can use this for different applications. So here's just an example. I'm using this brand charger right here. And I put the terminals a positive and negative and it starts charging immediately. And you could see it's on standard, if you can see that. Or I can go to AGM and there's even a lithium polymer setting on here. So the battery doesn't care how you charge it because it's designed to work with lead acid batteries and the algorithms that they use in your ATV and your lawnmower should be compatible with this. It'll basically take whatever you can throw at it and it'll take that current and it will charge that battery. So that's really unique about this. It's very versatile and very universal. So here's just an example of how you can throw any type of current and voltage to this and charge it. So here's the power supply and I could uh, increase the voltage and then you see the current rising right there and the voltage increasing and now it's sending that energy from the cable into the battery and it's charging it from that discharge I just did. So there's a lot of ways you can charge this battery other than on your ATV or motorcycle or riding mower. It could be charged multiple ways as I showed. And if I try to go beyond 14 volts, that current, you can see what's happening. It's not letting me. So if I undo this connection right here, you could see that that's 25.98 volts. And when I connect it to the battery, it's limiting it so that it won't let it go above that voltage and current. So the internal electronics in here is preventing over voltage and over current on the charge. So let's do a basic load test right here. I have this charged. You see it's at 14.4 volts, 14.11 volts. And I'm gonna put a 6.7 ohm load across this, which is drawing about 2.4 amps. And you can see that it's dropping down, but it's maintaining a high voltage on there, 13.7. So this is now heating up because it's converting that into heat. So this is still over 12 volts, obviously, so it's handling that load fine. Now let's go and let's put an even lower resistance on here. Let's put one point two five ohms and you see it's slowly dropping but it's handling that load and again this is this is getting warm because it's converting it into heat but the point of this experiment here is I'm loading it down and this is about 12 amps of current that's going through here and you can see it's still maintaining that it's still 12.99 volts and that's really good. So that's where you're going to get this cold cranking energy from this battery because it's, I'm loading it down right now with 12 amps and it's still sitting there at 12.97. So it's got a lot of capacity inside this battery compared to a typical lead acid battery. And another thing that's really nice about lithium ion is that the internal resistance, the resistance that that load sees looking into the battery is significantly lower than lead acid. That's why it's able to contribute that much current into this. You can almost cook on this right now. So it's still at 12.96 and it's sending energy into that load. That shows you how much energy this thing could actually send out. So I'm impressed. Now I connected it to another resistor inside this chain right here. 
and now it's about 0.8 of an ohm so now it's drawing about 14 amps out of the battery this is getting starting to smoke and you see the battery is still over 12 volts at 12.89 volts so after testing the, cap the capabilities of the NOCO brander lithium NLP20 group 20 600 amp 12 volt 7 amp hour battery what do I think about this product very nice very compact very high-tech looking lightweight and you don't have to worry about acid or, or water lithium ion is the way to go it's the future it's what my electric car has my Kona it's the way to go it's what I use in all my model airplanes to fly so it's really high-tech equipment high-tech battery I'm gonna give this a full five-star rating please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you alert to new video uploads and if you thought this review was helpful please hit the like button there'll be an ordering link in the information section of this video review please use that link when you order this product to help support this channel I hope this video review helped you with your buying decision thank you for watching